Welcome back again to your Daily Tarot. This is for Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. And as always, my intention is to have three cards come through that will help you most with today and possibly over your entire lifetime because it has something to do with healing the soul. Or it might just be... <laughs> Like I often remind you guys, it can just be learning the meanings of the cards. And I do allow for reversals, in case you're new. And this is just the Rider-Waite-Smith. So Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. Right there. <laughs> this is where we left off yesterday. So in the morning, there's more freedom. He came to reverse again. You, if you realize how what I do to, to shuffle, and, and I mean, I, I, I do this whole thing over my table, you know, let, it's like finger painting almost, and then I gather the cards back up. So there's, there's no way that this is any type of uh, accident. This is, a, this is a synchronicity here. So there's freedom from bondage. And with the Page of Cups reversed, the freedom has to do with old emotional um, itchu, uh, situations, issues from the past. And yeah, that was a Freudian slip, that itchu, <laughs> old emotional itches that were untrue. Whoa, that's amazing. Okay. So three reversals today, but this is the best way to get the, uh, the devil card is reversed, okay? I, so like I said, it, this is our uh, Saturn and Capricorn card, or we could just look at it as Capricorn, but it's everything of the physical realm, and those chains are just falling off from around the neck. There's no more connection to the old beliefs. There's no more bondage. There's no more addiction. There's no more apathy or cruelty or materialism that you're dealing with. Your power is free. You have taken back your power. Or you're still breaking free. And that's okay. You know, it takes as long as it takes. And there's no judgment as to how long it ever takes a person. As, as long as we're breaking free from it. We're doing really well. And sometimes it's just one day at a time, right? Now, with the Page of Cups, we're talking uh, childhood, like adolescent trauma, uh, you know, teen years, all of the teen years, adolescent and up through, you know, the whole tweens and teens. Uh, and maybe where you felt rejected, maybe where you didn't have... Um, Maybe where your creativity was stifled. Maybe where you, you just didn't have the friendship and the love that you wanted. Because the the page, well, actually the page knight, queen, and king, they're, they're very sensitive. The cups are the sensitive emotional realm. So with the, with the, the page of cups, the, some of the key meanings here uh, have to do, well, all the pages have to do with messages. But this one is more of a sensitive nature about a new beginning. And one of the key words of <laughs> this card is synchronicity. So being that this center card is my theme card, both of these cards, there, there is synchronicity here. That's, that's one of the underlying messages with, with this <laughs> lineup. So, but anyway, when it comes through reverse, we're dealing with, a, you know, something that was repressed in the past. Uh, it could even be like repression around uh, your sexuality when you were growing up. You may have been shamed on some level and, 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 and that it stuck with you and you didn't realize it. And now that you're becoming more and more free... Well, you realize definitely with the devil card is all about sexuality. So you should never, ever be ashamed of your sexuality. And anybody that ever shamed you for that, I, you know, I mean, I'm sure I'm not, I'm sure I don't have any terrible uh, offenders uh, watching my channel. I, <laughs> but anyway, normally under, under, 
most normal circumstances, 99% of the time, I would say it's, you know, it's a manage, it's managing our power. Our sexuality is our life force, and it's just a, a process of managing our power. But when we're younger and we're full of hormones, that is very, very hard to do. And so there may have been harsh judgments that were an absolute lie that somebody told you and you bought into it. And now maybe at the tender age of 50, 60, 70, or 80, maybe you're finally healing it. And that's a good thing. However long it takes or however old we are doesn't matter. So that could be one thing. Now on another level, I... Sometimes a page of cups reversed is about hiding some secrets, but again, you know, we only hide secrets because we're ashamed. Uh, and on another level, it just could be holding back. Some something is being held back, which can be manipulating. Right. So if there's a, a, a theme of emotionally manipulating, or you've been manipulated that is the thing that you're breaking free of. Or if you catch yourself being emotionally manipulated, manipulating, <laughs> um, then you might get inside the truth about that with the Ace of Swords reversed and try and figure out like, oh, yeah, that was, I, I realize I did that because it was just a defense in order to have connection. So maybe that's what you're freeing up is that old defensive way of, having a relationship, you know, connection in your life when you were younger. You know, this is, a, this is a younger traumatic wounding here or younger coping mechanism here with the Page of Cups. And again, it's the theme for the day. Now, if it doesn't apply to you at all, this could be a younger person in your life, could be a teenager or, or something, you know. Maybe you walk in on a teenager getting it on um, if so, you know, never shame them. <laughs> just, just go, oh, sorry. <laughs> or, uh, you know, don't use all the hot water in the shower. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you say, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, okay, <laughs> I think I'll let that one go. Oh, except for, let's name the signs. We're talking any water signs, so... <laughs> We're talking Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This could be possibly. And it doesn't have to be a, a you know a sign at all. It can just be the, the energy of the Page of Cups. And then with the Ace of Swords, this this is the card that brings in when it's upright. It's the card that card that ushers in autumn. You know, fall. I uh, so. Yeah, and then all air signs. And it could be it'd be related to any air signs. So again, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But the keywords for the Ace of Swords has to do with not having any good ideas coming through. Um, it could be some confusion. It could be just, just you know, major, not, it doesn't have to be major, major, but uh, some lack of clarity is what I should say. Uh, for some people, it is memory loss. Sometimes with this card, it has to do with surgery as well. Uh, if that's the case, it's possible that the original trauma was during the teen and early, you know, years. And, um, and, and getting in touch, you know, a lot of times when we have a, an issue in our body, it helps us get in touch with, because the body and the soul are one. So it helps us to get in touch with wounding from the past. It certainly has for me. Anytime I've ever been sick, well, first thing I do if I get sick is, is reflect on, oh, what's coming up to clear? You know, what's the, what's the main issue here? Or... How have I let myself get out of balance to the point that I wore myself ragged? I've done that before, too. I think we all live and learn with that one, right? Uh, especially when you're a mom and you've got kids and you're working. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, sometimes with the Ace of Swords, this can be somebody that, and if, you, if it's a younger person, and you're free of this, like, detachment. You're detached, but you're witnessing a younger person that just really wants to win the fight. There's argumentative, manipulative behavior here, and it's to uh, 
it's to win something because they think then that's how they have the approval or the love. You know, that could be, and this could be a pattern that you grew up with too, was that you, you maybe you had a parent, maybe you actually, maybe you had a parent that was detached in the wrong way and didn't listen to you, didn't care about what was going on and didn't understand how hard it was to be a teenager growing up. And, and you walked away thinking, oh, I'll never, I'll never win love. I'll never win. I'll never have. So whenever, whenever, <laughs> we are in either an always or a never. Like we think it's always this and it's never that or, you know, whichever way that goes. Know that you're in duality. If you're in a, if you're in a emotional conundrum where you think it's never going to be this or it's always going to be that, you're in duality. So you have to step back and accept the fact that you're in duality, but open up to a whole new unitive reality where you think of, oh, you know what, it's, it's and. Sometimes it's this and, sometimes it's that. It's never, never, you know what I mean? I, mean, I guess if you want to get with the nevers, you just say never say never, because <laughs> you never know. But, well, you know when you get there is the thing. But anyway, back to duality, we're in that either or consciousness, which keeps us split. And, and this is part, you know, this is part and parcel with the earthly realm, where I'm um, we are unitive beings, but we're born into this dualistic realm, and we get caught up in thinking that it's either good or bad. I have to be right or I'm wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'm bad, and if I'm bad, I don't have love, and I have to win, otherwise I'm a loser, and if I don't win, I won't have love, or I won't have happiness, you know what I mean? Or I won't have control, we're fighting for like control, pleasure. When we're in duality, we're fighting for control. We've got a forcing current going out for control or pleasure. Uh, or we're just literally withdrawing from life and, and we're just, you know. Or sometimes there's the forcing current around needing to have glory. I guess that would be the winning department. Got to win. Got to be the one on top. Got to be Gotta, 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 all that stuff. So we're when we're in a gotta or a shoulda, we're in duality, right? So yeah, whatever's going on, don't judge yourself harshly. And if you witness other people doing it, just know it's a human thing. But other than that, I'll just get this uploaded and let you guys tell me how you're doing. Okay, bye. <laughs>